In today's A-level IB biology video, we're going to talk about what happens when blood clots form in the coronary arteries. Now remember for me that coronary arteries are the arteries which surround the outside of the heart and their primary function is to supply oxygen to the heart. Because remember, the heart is an extremely hard working muscle, it pumps all day, every day, so it needs its own blood supply in order to meet that demand. But how does a coronary thrombosis occur, which is effectively a blood clot? It's often due to a fairly unhealthy diet, which is high in saturated fats and low density lipoproteins, which is effectively cholesterol. What happens is that a plaque starts to form in the coronary artery and if that ruptures, then the blood clot forms, which may completely block the artery. So remind ourselves of the structure of the artery. We have the smooth inner layer of endothelium, and then you have that middle layer of muscle and elastic fibres. And what happens when the person eats a fairly unhealthy diet is you get this plaque being deposited, and then blood clots form. But fundamentally, I hope you can see that we have a highly narrowed lumen. So what is the knock-on effect of having a narrowed lumen? So the following occurs. Firstly, there's less blood flow to the heart. Therefore, less oxygen reaches. The heart has to carry out anaerobic respiration due to that reduced oxygen supply. And remember that this produces lactic acid or lactate, which lowers the pH Enzymes involved in all the reactions become denatured and sometimes part of the heart muscle dies and that's actually what takes place in a heart attack otherwise known as a myocardial infarction if you're feeling fancy. Sometimes things are less severe and instead when you have this reduced oxygen supply the heart starts beating in an uncoordinated way and this is known as a fibrillation. 